My favourite place to travel to in the world is the beautiful island of Ibiza. So many good things have happened while I've been there. I don't know if I'll be allowed to say the anecdotes from Ibiza. I tend to pack very quickly and not with much order. I'd say I'm definitely a folder. I don't just like screw it up and chuck it in the case. It's a, ma a case of like folding up just really quickly. I tend to buy most of my underwear at the airport. <laughs> it's definitely something to do with the way I, that I travel very last minute. <laughs> you know like, people like crisp sheets? I like fresh underwear. <laughs> My flight essentials, number one being, of course, your passport. I have a reputation of losing my passport. Uh-oh, my passport's gone. I always carry phone charger. I'm that person sitting on the floor at Palmer Airport charging my phone. If I don't have my earphones to travel, I usually go on the plane and ask other passengers if I can borrow them. <laughs> I've lost four phones in Ibiza. <laughs> this is like therapy. It's like confessional time. Even when I go on a night out, I always pack sunglasses just in case I come home in the morning. Now, a holiday number one essential is a little black dress. You might end up going on a date on your holiday, like a last minute date, and this is perfect for a date. A pair of denim shorts. I don't like to have like daytime outfits and evening outfits. I like to have things that I can wear in the day or in the evening and just dress them accordingly. I love this t-shirt because it's kind of rock and roll. It's got a vintage feel to it. It's really light. It's just easy to wear either over a bikini after you come out of the pool or on the beach or even at night with a bit of red lip. So these silky like shorts are perfect for packing because one, they take up no space whatsoever and they come with a matching top. So you can either wear it as a set or you can put this over your bikini when you don't feel like prancing around in your bikini, which I never do. I love this top with a pair of denims. Perfect for the last night on holiday when you've got a great tan. This is my favourite piece in the whole collection. This is a skirt, tiger print, which I think kind of just goes with a bikini top. Have a cocktail in your hand, pair of wedges, holiday sorted. Kimono, very important. If you can't be bothered to get dressed in the morning, you want to go down for breakfast, whack on your bikini, chuck this on over the top. You've got an outfit for the day. I made a little yellow dress that's perfect for the daytime, for the evenings, for lunchtime, for breakfast. It's just pretty, isn't it? If I went on holiday and forgot my suitcase, I would have an extra pair of these stashed in my hand luggage. Once you've got your bikini, you don't need anything else on holiday. I always take a straw hat on holiday. If I don't take one, I usually buy one when I'm there. The thing about hats is you cannot pack them. Two books. Books should come with warnings because this book you should never read in public because it makes you cry so much at the end. If you want to get any kind of sleep on the plane, this is essential. I sometimes have to get a really late night flight. I uh, put my seat back, ready to go to sleep like that. And the woman leaned forward and went, you can't be a seat back. And she got a rolled up newspaper and hit me on the head. The hardest thing to leave behind is my dog, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go.